2005 Wikipedia, uh, since 2007 the Wikimedia Steward, also board member of Wikimedia in Germany. Uh, I am Marius Hoop, I am Wikipedia since 2008. Um, these days I'm mostly doing technical stuff like JavaScript, um, I'm Media Wiki and Wikidata developer, volunteer. And I'm currently working on a global abuse filter. Global administration uh, is mostly done by stewards. Who has not yet heard of stewards? Please raise your hand. <laughs> okay. <laughs> then I skip the first part. <laughs> well, um, the stewards, maybe you learn some new points here. Um, stewards were designed in 2005 to lighten the developer's workload. Um, Stewards have no direct access to the databases, but full access to uh, from MetaWiki to all about 800 projects, Wikimedia projects, by a web interface, which looks like that. Um, stewards are a user group which uh, uh, selected once a year in a three-week-long uh, election phase. Um, applicants have to reach more than 80% support and more than 30 support votes by the global community. 
prerequisites are um, that you're both uh, uh, legally mature and um, older than 17 years, 18 years. Uh, they came yesterday. <laughs> um, um, another uh, prerequisite is uh, was uh, added last year uh, that uh, you have to be an administrator for more than three months on any Wikimedia wiki. Additionally, you have to be identified to the Wikimedia Foundation because you have access to non-public information and. As, uh, we as stewards uh, are happy to welcome new uh, stewards who have uh, experience in global tasks already, but you are also uh, can also become a new steward without that much experience. Stewards have to stand up for <coughs> re-election once a year, and uh, while the community can comment uh, on our uh, our um, Work, what we did, um, the final decision um, whether a steward stays as steward or um, won't be re elected is done by an election committee formed by Wikimedia stewards uh, themselves. We are currently 39 uh, stewards, mostly new, uh, new ones, so 28 of them are, uh, have been elected uh, from 2011 to this year. And during this time, I have some statistics. Um, for each steward, uh, about 185 um, persons, voters from the global community, took part in each uh, election. And 58% of all elections have, have been successful. Unfortunately, we have only one female steward. Yeah? Pity. Um, Besides this, um, uh, gap on the diversity, we also have gap on language diversity. Um, I had a look at um, the languages all stewards uh, are speaking at a native or a neo native um, level. So we have 19 of who speak English and four with German and Italian, uh, French, Polish, and Chinese, three uh, Dutch and Norwegian. Um, Two and a couple of other others. <coughs> so all in all, twenty languages are uh, covered on a native or na new native base. Missing are um, languages like Spanish, uh, Japanese, Korean, Arabian, um, Hindi, uh, Turkish, and several others. Um, the most, uh, also some of the most spoken languages of the world, which are here printed in bold. So if you are, speak one of these languages and want to help us, please stand up for an election. But how can you reach us if you want to, if you need a steward? Um, you can find us on Meteor Wiki uh, and you can put up a request there, um, steward requests. But it's much easier to go um, to ISC and find us on uh, Wikimedia Stewards or send us an email uh, at, uh, to stewards at wikimedia.org where, um, where, yes, uh, where we read these mails, uh, mails through OTRS system but we also um, use for our work uh, a steward, a private steward wiki where only stewards have access a uh, private mail mailing list and a private ISC channel Not so private I'm there Yes, you're there, you're from a steward, so uh, the from a steward, uh, just the nice ones are allowed to stay there. Um, how are we working? We are watching these pages, of course, um, are available, available on ISC, but also Petrol edits an account registration on all Wikimedia wikis, and go to that. Um, so, now, that's the background, and what are we supposed to do? We are doing um, all kinds of administrative tasks uh, in smaller projects uh, that cannot be done by the local community in itself. That's mostly anti-vandalism staff and maintenance work, um, but that's also partly done by global stewards like him. 
Yeah, yeah. Um, the different tasks, uh, if you could imagine, uh, are done by us. So assigning local user rights, delete, protect, block, uh, import articles, uh, but also a bureaucrat uh, work like rename uh, people or check user work like checking users' uh, uh, oversight work like uh, suppressing little and um, private information. Apart from that, stewards only implement consensus and active emergencies. Uh, also on larger wikis. At the beginning, uh, stewards had to change their user rights on each wiki for dealing with cross wiki, -wiki tasks. Uh, in April 2008, uh, the unified login, also called single user login or SUL, um, has been enabled so that each account has a global account and does not need to register on each wiki separately. And with this change, also global user groups have been introduced, uh, which allow uh, stewards and other glo global um, users to act on more than one wiki at the same time. So that global user groups contain rights which can affect uh, a group or off or all wikis. Uh, these are the current user groups uh, you can see, for example, global bots, um, which do not, do not need global um, uh, local bot flags on each wiki, but have uh, bot rights on um, any wiki. <laughs> but also staff members and stewards and global systems and such. Additionally, uh, stewards um, became one of these groups, global groups, and currently hold uh, about 50 mostly passive rights, uh, which can be used if necessary without changing user rights. So that's the uh, approval since the last five years. Um, I, I uh, became steward before these times, so I can um, still remember the much harder times when we had to. Uh, deal with cross wiki um, actions and have to switch on and off our user rights. It was really a mess. Um, I wrote a steward script for that, which made it easier, but that really, was really a huge step in, in our history. You can see there are many, many um, rights uh, a user could have. Um, these are the ones uh, Wikimedia stewards currently have on any wiki. Um, but most of these rights are passive, as I said, and um, shall only be used uh, when the community requests it. Yeah, that's the first half, and that's the second one. Uh, another thing we can do in our global blocks. Um, on global blocks prevent locked in, um, the, uh, respectively locked out users uh, called IPs from vandalizing multiple wikis. Currently, we have only global blocks for IPs and global blocks uh, part of a different system for locked in users. But, uh, we will tell more about that. Um, that's a, that the a interface for blocking in global. No, logging an IP address on the global base, and that's a called central of uh, interface for locking an account or hiding it from um, the locks. Uh, recently, we got another uh, fancy tool uh, called uh, Multilock, where we can lock uh, more accounts uh, with one uh, only one action. Uh, which helps us to stop spammers um, who create dozens uh, of user accounts uh, at the same time. And besides assigning local user rights, we can also assign global user rights, so um, we can remove Jimmy's founder access or give him more rights, which he cannot do. For example here, who man? Currently, uh, member of the global rollback and global system. 
and in interface architecture as well. That's not slightly outdated. So, yeah, well, <laughs> one is missing, okay. <clears throat> Besides Stewart, there's a second user group or, which is working on a global base uh, called Global Sysops. They were um, uh, introduced when um, there were too few active students precisely in uh, 2009, 10, only three have been um, usually active. Uh, it was quite stressful. Um, while many more users, like uh, Marius, for example, helped online to detect vandalism and to report it to stewards. Um, and not all of these uh, helpful users uh, fulfilled the prerequisites, for example, when they were too young or too shy to um, stand up for election or um, any other uh, reasons which prevented them, or uh, yeah, to go through the long election process. In March uh, 2010, the global user group uh, Global Sysop then has been created. Uh, after Global Rollback is the second one to assist us stewards. And um, uh, differently from the uh, election for stewards, the election for global systems are um, not done by the global community. Well, <laughs> if you call Meta a global um, wiki, it's also a global community, but there's no central notice that uh, invites you to take part in these elections. Um, they are open, of course, and the consensus is uh, determined by stewards. They have kind of, uh, kind of different part, uh, uh, similar um, tasks as stewards. Uh, they can do administrative um, work on wikis with less than uh, 10 sysops admins or <laughs> less, less than uh, three active sysops or upon request of local communities. Well, this is why they have uh, about 40 user rights, like the ones I mentioned before, uh, blog, delete, protect, and useful data and such. Um, and they can, uh, can use them currently in about 740 of the 80, uh, 740 of the 800, of course, uh, Wikimedia wikis. So 850 more precisely. Um, and uh, as I t uh, already said, um, for the steward elections, it's recommended to work as a global sysop in advance uh, for um, before applying for steward rights. And that takes us yes. to Marius, who tells you more about the tools we are using. And uh, yeah. Yes. Um, first of all, my part of the presentation is going to be rather short, as I'm. Then, as Martin already presented, some of the tools, and I'm not going to present all of them as they are a lot, and you won't be able to remember them anyway. I'm just going to show the most important things that are upcoming, and um, some very useful tools on tool server or tool apps. First of all, we have a global rename. We don't yet have it, but we are working on it. It's a very big thing. That is going to come, hopefully this fall. It's going to allow the stewards to rename a global account all in one. So we're so we going so the stewards are going to be able to rename the global account and all local accounts. So you're going to be renamed on all Wikipedia's and all sister projects in one step, without having to um, request the renaming locally on all of these projects, which can be a very tedious work. It's going to be deployed prior to the steward finalization, which basically means that um, at some point we will no longer have any local accounts without a global account assigned to them. And prior to installing that, we will have global rename so that users can rename their global accounts easily, or have them renamed easily. Another big thing on the boat is the global abuse filter. It already is enabled on several smaller wikis for testing. Um, most global filters can be managed by the stewards from for meter. They basically <coughs> work like the local abuse filters, so I don't know if you who knows about it, who doesn't know about the abuse filter in here. No. Doesn't. Doesn't. Oh. 
Okay, that's fine. Um, they basically work like local filters, but they apply to all wikis or right now to these four wikis. So they can be managed um, globally by the stewards on Meta, and um, all filter logs are appear both on the Meta wiki, so that the stewards can see them in one place, and they also appear on the local wikis where the abuse filter has been hit. Um, that's how uh, the global abuse filter log looks like. It's basically like like a local hit, except that you see the wiki on which the filter has been hit. It's nothing spectacular. And as I told, it's the same as local filters, just that you have more, that one more checkbox that says global filter. Um, as you saw, it's already enabled on four wikis, but of course we plan to enable it on more wikis, starting with smaller wikis and eventually end up with having it enabled on all wikis. Um, but prior to doing that, we need to implement some further features to it. First of all, local <laughs> administrators should or need to be able to disable global filters for their wiki. In certain cases, like there might be a more specific local filter or something like that. Um, furthermore, um, it should be possible to have um, the global abuse filters automatically block or block accounts. So in case of um, <laughs> hobby or spam bots or something like that, the so filters could automatically lock down the accounts and save a lot of steward time, I mean a lot of steward time. Yes, that was other upcoming tools on the Wikimedia sites, on the which are mostly programmed by the foundation. Um, now I'm going to switch over to user tools. These are either tools running on tool server or tool labs, or tools which run in the user's browser, like gadgets or just a user JavaScript. Um, I'm going to present some of them, of course there are thousands. It's, there's probably a tool for almost all needs. So if you have any further questions later on about some tool which does something, we can maybe give you, give you directions. So first of all, I'm going to present you a tool which can show you all or the most recent contributions, contributions of a user across all Wikimedia wikis. That's especially helpful with um, IPs as you have Except of that tool, you have no way to see on which wikis an IP, an anonymous user, yet edited. It looks like this. You have a user form where you can put an IP or username, and then it just lists all, all edits on all Wikimedia wikis. Next thing is, it's a bit it's, um, handy if you want to see whether a user is active somewhere. Is he still on Wikimedia? or as he retired, you can use uh, the course activity. It shows um, the user's latest edits and um, bureaucrat and sysop activity across the wikis. You get get a table with um, <coughs> time of the last edits, last uh, bureaucrat actions, and last site of actions, and also some additional information like local groups. So that's pretty handy if you want to see where a user is active somewhere or where he fully retired. Another funny thing is a stock toy. It basically does what the name says. You can see a um, um, <laughs> whole lot of details about a global account. Uh, it also works with IPs. I'm going to switch to the screenshot. You can see like how, how many edits does the user have per language. Like that's, that's for Martin. He got 53% of his edits on, on German language wikis. Most of them are Wikipedias, and of course it got information like number of edits on each wiki, when he registered, and a lot more. As, as these are all tools running on tool labs or tool server, I'm going to switch over to one which I wrote myself, a bit of self-advertising here. Uh, this is a um, user script, you have to manually install it. There's an instruction here, I'm going to we're going to upload the slices so that you can um, get that out of the PDF later on. Um, 
that tool basically, you know, the rollback functionality, I guess. Right now you can you can roll back, revert, edit, undo them, it won't click. But it's a default functionality given by MediaWiki. You will only see a very uh, generic edit summary like reverted edits by user, blah, blah. So that tool allows you to um, change these edit summaries, but also it allows you to mass rollback edits. So like when you have special contributions and see the list of all edits made by user, you can click on mass rollback and it's going to roll back all of these edits very fast. And you can also, if you are administrator, you can also use um, an option which will mark these edits as what edits so they won't show up on the recent changes. Here's a screenshot of that. It's available under the user tools and yes, it's, you can select an edit summary or enter a custom one and mark this as bot or not and then you can revert everything or you can click on update links if you click on that um, all our rollback links on the page will be changed so that if you click on this after that we'll also get the custom edit summary or the market spot or whatever so that's basically from our side and we are of course open to questions as I told you can probably point you into directions if you have any questions about other tools for Various purposes, and <laughs> as a maintainer of the abuse filter extension, I can also give you directions there. And we have um, various people around from the Wikimedia Foundation, admin tools team, who can also help you. Yeah. Um, is there any plan to centralize all the tools, the external tools, um, to, to, for example, tool labs, since we're moving there? Um, because currently we have uh, them scattered around, mostly a tool, tool server, but I wouldn't be surprised if there were some that were hosted elsewhere. Um, I have a few tools of my own. If anyone wants to take, to maintain them instead of me, by all means, contact me. But um, in any case, is there a plan to do that? I mean, it, it would be helpful to you know, centralize them and make them uniform, at least to look the same. Um, I think that would be easier for, for everyone. Well, that's mostly a, like a tool labs issue. Of course, some of these tools could probably be ported into MediaWiki extensions or Even better, to sample yeah. all. Um, but of course, some of these tools probably have to stay on tool labs or tool server, which is entirely. Um, about tool labs, well, I'm not, probably not the right person to ask about it. We got um, Silke Meyer over here, she's back there. She can probably answer some tools to serve two labs questions. I think the, in the yeah. next slot there is a discussion of uh, what yeah. Yeah. Yeah, it's, it's all so you're invited. Yeah, but regardless of the place, is there an intention to to make them put them together? Well that probably is, but I'm not sure that's anyone yet really working on it. So no one is working on centralizing it? Probably not, no. Okay. Well oh, there's an idea. Yeah. Bring up that question in the other session. Yeah, I'll be there. You'll be there. Okay. More questions? Yeah. You guys, it's somewhat similar to this other. I know for for a long time you had a stewards sort of group of tools on tool on the tool server. Does that still exist? Is that being used? Because um, obviously that would be something that we could transition to tool labs. Or is that something that just as as people left and moved around isn't as, as active at the moment? There's the MMT stuff. Yeah. I didn't yet really know where. I think there is one, but I'm not sure there's anything on it. <laughs> if everybody's a little confused, that answers the question. <laughs> I don't think there's anything on it. No, the uh, well, Stuart Bot is there. Okay. Yes. But no where to use that. Most of the tools we are using are written by uh, volunteer stewards and ABD users. More questions? Yes, please. Uh, yeah, uh, um, I've just a recent. Uh, uh, I've just been recently appointed an admin on uh, Wiki Voyage, but I've been travelling too much, which is not really <laughs> And um, I'm just curious, when you're on a smaller, on a smaller wiki, as an admin, I'm just wondering the whether. Sh and also, I'm a very low-using admin on Commons, 
I'm just curious as to whether if someone has had sufficient time in that area, whether it's actually worth trying to go for stewardship or for some level admin on the basis that we are seeing signs of the few people who are qualified, who are stewards that go into somewhere like Voyage and are aware of problems from other language wikis or from English wikis. I'm just sort of wondering whether it's better just to have where, where it balances out, whether it's better just to have only a few stewards that may go into some small wikis, or whether it's better to increase, regard, even if they are still small. Can you follow what I'm trying to ask? Do I try to rephrase it? Um, well, I, I think I got it mostly. Uh, what you probably... Um, Stewards arm or stewards and global systems arm there for any content issue. So we are just there for very obvious maintenance stuff like spam or obvious vandalism. So get a huge amount of spam in Voyage. Yes. Yeah. And you see the things because Voyage is only young, it's only six months, and some of the people have come over from Wiki Travel rather than coming in from WPEN or whoever. The thing is there is a there can be a spam issue or even identifying what is spam. Versus a valid edit it can be a problem from somebody who's come from the Twitter English. Sorry if I lost you completely. Yeah. Um, <laughs> about yeah. Okay. All right. Small a small wiki. Is it worth somebody who's an admin in a small wiki to consider perhaps to look at a, a bigger thing and, and to actually be sitting in meta just to understand that the, the larger, broader thing like puzzle admin or Sure, if anyone who got um, extra time and most probably um, knows that more than one language is, of course, welcome to join the. Um, join Many out. Australians are fiercely monolingual. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I would say this is besides. I've been. I've not been active in it for a long time, but I know when I was active as a global sysop and rollback, actually an enormous portion of them were small wiki users because that's how they. That's how they found out that they existed. Was it, they, they saw some global rollback or global user come in and, and fix up a bunch of pixels. Um, I was most active on simple Wikipedia for a long time and before I, I branched out on other stuff. Um, so I'd say come and join. Well, thank you for your answer. Sorry for bringing that up. There are multiple issues actually that tie in, but for something as young as Wiki Voyage, I think it's really important. <coughs> I think we've only got maybe one steward who's active in Voyage. Well, we got um, we got an IRC channel, so that's um, that's a chat channel where we actually see. Um, On Wikipedia, we also have a like, tours notice board, where you can ask for certain tasks that you can have a tours notice board. Yes. Uh, yeah. 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 Yeah.
the admin already left eight, um, seven years ago. So there's no steward monitoring the the small league beside this just uh, obvious uh, spam. Uh, we we also we also observed that there is one user who uh, about eight years ago who terribly um, uh, made that uh, we, uh, wiki as a, a hybrid of Wiktionary and and uh, Wikipedia. So I don't know if I could uh, just request to have this in uh, deleted in mass or migrated to a new a, a new uh, incubator wiki. Well, of course, that's difficult as cold stewards aren't there to um, have, do any decisions on the content material. So that's strictly local. That's strictly a local issue. But of course, I can understand that if you don't have any local community or no local administrators left who can do the decisions. And or it's not. quite hard to uh, convince uh, that there's a community because the community are seasoned uh, seasoned uh, uh, editors, so they only edit once every three months or once a year. So uh, we could not uh, give a, a complete consensus if, uh, if there is a, such a decision needs to be done. Uh, I'm currently showing you the page uh, steward request I mentioned uh, in my part. Mm -hmm. uh, all of these uh, sub pages uh, contain information uh, when and where we are allowed to help. So I have an uh, answer to your questions. I mean, about a lot of wikis are inactive. Yes. So I mean, there are there there is no constructive edits. They're only for spam. And I had this problem like, I mean, like I mean, two months ago that uh, we stewards were tired of uh, deleting spam in that wiki. There is no community there. So I personally filed a. Uh, for closure of that wiki to do a uh, language committee, and they say you cannot close a wiki just because uh, it's an under channel or something like that. So, I mean, whether a project should be open or not is is not up to stewards. So sometimes we stewards don't have to do. I mean, we can't do anything about it because we cannot close it without the, I mean, uh, language committee's decision, and they don't uh, actually close a wiki without mm -hmm. just because it's inactive. Or not. Um, that's actually a rather good question. Um, problem is right now the condition limit code is very messy and it's partly or more than partly it's rather broken right now. Um, we got a bug for that and um, we want to look into that very soon. And yes, we do not yet know how it's going to work. But we certainly will find a way. It's not going to um, count up on the the local condition limit final version. The global rules also, I, I'm pretty sure, run after the local rules, if I remember right. So uh, all the local rules fill the condition limit like normal, and then the global rules would be over and above that. So it's not going to like disable local fit or anything. Right. It's not going to happen. More questions? Otherwise, we would give you five more minutes for your presentation and discussion. Yes. So, so thank yeah. you for um, attending. Yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, we will upload our presentation uh, to all the Wikimania Wiki. Um,
comments and link it on the Wikimedia Wiki if you want to see the slides again. Thank you.